Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to work on our week five, day four packet. So if you have your packet and you go ahead and get it out, we can work on this packet together. So the first thing in our packet is our name practice. Remember when we do our name, we need to make sure that we have the first letter capital and the rest lowercase. So first letter should be capital and the rest lowercase. So capital, the big letter, and then the lowercase letters. So that's how we should be practicing our name. I don't wanna see all capital letters. I wanna see the first letter capital and the rest lowercase. So practice writing your name on your name paper. You can also practice your name page in your blue binder, or you can also practice on your whiteboard. The next page in our packet, and you can pause these videos as we go if you're trying to do your packet while I'm talking. The next one is our Jolly Phonics, and today we are going to review our sound books, and then we will go to our new letter of the day. So let's go ahead and we'll start with sound book one. Name is S, sound is Name is A, sound is A, A, A. Name is T, sound is T, T, T. Trying to give, I'm trying to pause between these to give you a moment to answer too. Name is I, sound is I, I, I. Name is P, sound is Name is N, sound is N. That one's our sound book one. Let's look at our sound book two, our yellow book. Name is C, name is K, sound is K, 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 like the castanets, K. Name is E, sound is eh, 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 like egg. Name is H, sound is like we're hot. Name is R, sound is er, like rags the dog, er. Name is M. Sound is mmm, like something is mmm, mmm, mm, good. Name is D. Sound is d, 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 like we're playing the drums. D, d. Sound book three. Name is G. Sound is G, 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 like the gurgle, gurgling down the drain, g, g, g. Name is I, sound is ah, 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 ah. Name is U, sound is uh, 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 like umbrella. Name is L, sound is O. Oh, like we're licking a lollipop. Name is F, sound is f like the fish is going flat. Name is B, sound is b, 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 like we're batting a ball. All right, so there's our review of our sound books. So in our paper, we have the B page. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the B story that goes along with this B page. Sound book three, letter B. 
says the children have gone to the park to play baseball. As they hit the ball with the bat, they make a buh, buh, buh sound. So the action is like we are pretending we have a bat and we're batting a ball. Buh, buh, buh. So pretending we have a bat. Buh, buh, buh. And we're batting the ball. So that is our action for that one. So if we take a look at our words up here, we have buh, buh, ball. B b bib, b b bat. If we take a look at our picture, we see a b b bridge, b b boat, b b band, b b bubbles, b b baby, b b bike, b b bottles, b b basket. We see lots of B things in this page. So let's go ahead and take a look now on how to make our letter B. So in your book, you can go ahead and try to find your B page. So let's see. Let's see how to make a letter B. All right, so when we make our letter B, we start at the top, we go down, pick up our pencil, curve around, and then curve around again. So down, pick up our pencil, down, that's one, pick up our pencil, curve in and around again, that's two. So uppercase B or capital B, is two strokes. Lowercase b, we start at the top. We pull down, up, and around. Lowercase b is one stroke. Down, up, and around. Down, up, and around. So if we were going to practice writing these on our paper, I'm gonna give you just a second to look at your paper and look and see on this page. It says, Inky and Snake and Bee are playing ball in the park. Take a look at your paper and see if you can find some things that have the buck buck sound. And then we're gonna write some of the B words. In your picture, did you see B? Ball, bat, those are all some of the things that had the B sound in them. All right, so let's go ahead and work on trying to make these letter Bs now. Uppercase B, start at the top, pull down, so we just have that straight line down. Go at the top, curve in and around again. So it's almost like a one and a three smooshed together. Pull down, pick up your pencil, curve in and around, okay? So two strokes, down, one, curve around and around, that's two. So uppercase B is two strokes. Lowercase B, we go down, up, and around. A lot of times people, um, students when they're first starting it, they just wanna kinda of make a circle and then just draw a line up. That's not the correct formation on that. So let's not do that. We start at the top, we go down, up, and around, okay? So if we had lines on our paper, our uppercase B, we would start at the top, pull down, back up at the top, curve around to the dotted line and around to the bottom line. Uppercase B again, start at the top, pull down, pick up your pencil, go around the dotted and then around to the bottom. Lowercase B, Start at the top, pull down, up, and around. Pull down, up to the dotted, and then around. So that is how we form our upper and lowercase b. So the next in your packet, we have your, your b writing page, and that's what we were just practicing together is how to write a b. 
The next one in your packet for today is our animal pre-writing. It says draw C's on the pig. Let me move this so you can see this a little bit better without, without that. Okay, so on this one, it says draw C's on the pig. So a C, you can see the C on the pig, but a C, Goes like that it's almost like a circle that's closed up so it says draw c's on the pig so we're just going to draw some c's on this pig okay next it says draw horizontal lines on the rabbit horizontal line so if we think about horizon a horizon is is flat so if we're going to draw horizontal lines we're going to draw straight lines across on the rabbit. So he's gonna ha kinda have some stripes on him, isn't he? So horizontal lines on the rabbit. We're practicing that left to right when you're doing those lines. Left to right, left to right. And that's kind of the, the, the writing skill we're practicing with that one. The C, we're practicing that curve motion when we're doing our writing. The next one says draw vertical lines on the snake. So this one is practicing that top to bottom motion on our writing. We always start at the top, pull down. So we're gonna start at the top, pull down. Start at the top, pull down. So we're drawing straight vertical lines up and down. Top, down, top, down, top, down, top, down. So we're gonna just start at the top and pull down and make those vertical lines. Next, it says draw squares on the turtle. So a square, remember when we talked about squares, squares, all four sides are the same. So we go down, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can go down and down and then cross the top and cross the bottom. Or you can go down and over and up. But I, I find a lot of times when kiddos are trying to make it that way, it turns out more like a circle than a square. So sometimes if we just draw those straight lines down and then we connect those top and bottom. But draw squares, however you can draw your square. Draw squares on your turtle. That's kind of on those cross ones, like an F and an E, practicing some of those cross lines and the straight lines down. So that's helping with a couple of different other um, skills with the pre-writing. Our next page in our packet is our can word. So let's go ahead and review the sight words that we've had so far. We've had the word I. And remember, I is like we're pointing to ourselves, the action for our Biffy tune. I, I, I. Then our word for this week is can. C-A-N, can. C-A-N, can. And our action is like, I can. I can do anything. Can, can, can. So C-A-N, can. So we take a look at our paper. We're gonna go ahead and, I wanna pull mine off while we're doing this. Cut on the dotted line. And then we have two can words. C-A-N, can, C-A-N, can. We're gonna cut these rectangles out and match them to the rectangles on the paper. So we're gonna try to cut on those lines. And cut out our can words. So try to cut on those lines. Open your scissors. Remember when we're cutting, our thumb is at the top. Some people will try to cut upside down, but we want our thumb to be at the top, okay, when we're cutting. Thumb at the top. And we open with our thumb and our fingers and close. Open, close. Thumb at the top. So we're gonna go ahead. We have our can words cut out. 
then we're gonna match our can words to the rectangles. So if you have your glue, you can glue and match them up. I forgot my glue stick, so I'm using sticky tack. And we're gonna match them in those boxes. And then that'll show us how well we cut around our rectangles if they fit in the box. It can see it helps us to, um, to cut that rectangle on the lines. All right. And our next one that we're gonna look at, let me see if I have my number cards over here. Oh, sorry boys and girls, I thought I had my number cards out today to practice. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some counting practice first. So count with me by ones, and we're gonna count to 25. Um, our first report card time, we need to count from one to 25. So let's count to 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good job. If you were able to count from one to 25, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. On our paper, we are working on practicing counting and writing to five. So if you have your whiteboard, I want you to practice writing some of these numbers with me first, okay? So it says writing numbers to five. So we're gonna practice numbers to five. So when we do a one, we start at the top and we pull down. So one is really easy. Start at the top, pull down. Let's take a look at number two. Number two, we start at the top and we curve around and pull back. Curve around and pull back. So it almost looks like a half of a heart and then a straight line back, okay? So curve around and our poem was curve around the railroad track and back. So curve around and pull back. Three, we start at the top, we curve around and around again. So we curve around the tree and around the tree to make the number three. Start at the top, curve in and around. Curve around the tree and around the tree to make the number three. Four, we start at the top, we go down, over. So we go down, over, pick up our pencil, pull down some more. Down, over, down some more. So start at the top, pull down, over, down some more to make the number four. Next, we have the number five. Number five, we go down, around, Put on a hat. My marker's not working so well, sorry. Down, around, put on a hat. So we go down, around, then pick up our pencil, put on a hat. I think this is the one that in our individual lessons, this is one that most of my friends are having a little bit more trouble with is the, um, is the five. Down, around, put on a hat. Some of them are wanting to start here and when they curve around, it makes it look more like an S. So we start at the top, we go down, around, pick up our pencil, put on a hat. Okay, so on our math page, or one of our math pages for today, we have page 35. And on page 35, it says that we are going to count and write how many. So if we look up in the sample box, it shows the number four. So we need to trace the number four. We go down, over, pick up your pencil, down some more. Down, over, pick up your pencil, down some more. Now we have to color four squares because our number has to match the pictures. So if we have the number four, we have to have four pictures or four squares. So four, we have one, two, three, four. And if you have your counters or your cubes and you wanna put your counters and cubes on there and count them out that way, that's a really good idea too. 
That way you know that you're, you're not skipping any. Our next number, what is this one? It goes down, around, put on a hat. What number is that, boys and girls? Down, around, put on a hat. That's right, number five. Down, around, pick up your pencil, put on a hat. Trace that one. Then we're gonna write another five. Down, around, pick up your pencil, put on a hat. There's a five. Now, I'm gonna give you a little hint right now. There's more than five circles, but we only have to color five, so make sure you count them. Sometimes whenever I'm counting, what I like to do, because it, one, helps me practice my numbers, two, helps me to make sure that I counted them all. Sometimes I'll write my numbers in there when I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I have my counters or my cubes, then I can put those on there. But if I don't, I like to write numbers in there so I know that I counted them all. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so there's five, so I'm gonna color in those. One, two, three, four, five, because now I know what five looks like. There's four and then one more, that makes five. So five. The next one, we see down over, down some more. What number is that one? You got it, number four. Down, over, pick up your pencil, down some more. Down, over, pick up your pencil, down some more to make the number four. Now we need to count four triangles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Now I need to color four triangles. I wrote my numbers in there. One, two, three, four. There we go. I know you have a couple of extra practice pages in there for math, so you can go ahead and work on those. But for now, that was kind of the, um, the, the majority of our packet for today. So get your work done. Bye.